Hello, this is Bern, and if you're hung up, worried, upset, obsessed, because you're into a guy and he's not into you, you've got to watch my video today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life TV.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, heart-centered and successful women how you can create the relationship of your dreams and attract the kind of man you want without the need for gimmicks, manipulations, and as a direct result of stepping into the most alive and the most feminine version of you. Now, I've heard this so many times. There's this guy that you have determined is an amazing specimen and you've fallen for him in some way and you're into him and he's not into you and you're feeling anxious and you're feeling upset and you're doubting yourself and you're lacking confidence now because you think that if you were all great then he should want you and it's such a painful situation and there's two schools of thought one school of thought will be well what do i do if the guy that i'm into is not into me school of thought one is attempt to change his mind in some way school of thought b is move on and i'm not going to waste time on school of thought a because i don't believe in it i'm going to go into school of thought b which is move on However, move on is easier said than done, so I want to give you some specifics to move on so that you can do it with grace, with passion, with excitement, and happen to get more options now because of this, not despite this, okay? Number one is stop with a hypothesis. Hypothesis means that you're coming up with some theories around this guy. Well, he's awesome. He's amazing. He's the greatest. No, he's not. You probably don't know him well enough to be able to make those hypotheses true. So stop making up fictitious ideas about this guy. Stop copying, coming up with mythical qualities of this man and start actually saying to yourself, I don't know who this guy is and I think he's great. I think he's amazing, but I don't really know. He doesn't seem to want me. So already now he can't be that great if he's not wanting me. I'm serious, right? Number two, stop spending time with him. If a guy is wishy-washy about you, if he's not really into you, if he's like, stop wasting your time. Why? Because you can spend that time doing other things that will be far more fulfilling to your life and actually open doors for you to connect to the ideal soulmate, the guy who will marry you, who want to be the father of your children. That guy, you cannot connect if you're wasting time with a guy who is wishy-washy, lukewarm, mm, neh, meh, into you, okay? Uh, number three, step up your confidence and what do you have to do to step up your confidence well you might have to connect to things that you love you might have to walk differently you might have to dress up in such a way not for the dress itself so that you feel you can walk with more confidence that you can smile with more confidence you can talk with more confidence so it's the way you move the way you breathe the way you talk the things you do how you think about yourself the questions you ask all those things create this result called confidence. Confidence is not something that you're necessarily just born with. Some people have more of it naturally. If you don't have it naturally, create it. You can create it. It's not easy, but it's certainly doable. Do the things that put you in contact with your greatness and then play up your strengths. Number, I think four, is fall in love with yourself and your life. So here's this thing. I hear so many women who are secretly hoping that a guy comes and loves them, ravishes them with love, but they're not necessarily loving their life or loving themselves. How does that happen? You tell me. First step for you to create the kind of devotional love from someone is have devotional love towards life, towards a mission that's bigger than yours, towards yourself. Not in a narcissistic, I'm the best in the world way, but in a way where you know your inherent worth as a human being, as a woman, as a source of light, as a passionate individual who's making a difference by the sheer act of showing up. If you start playing up your strengths, as I said before, and you start falling in love with your life, then you become so much more resonant, so much more attractive, so much more appealing, so much more magnetic to men around you. Number five, understand the concept of abundance. Abundance, the principle of abundance means there's more of that one thing which you seem to feel only exists in this one guy. So that means that there's hundreds of thousands of men that could fit the bill. I'm not gonna say billions, because not billions will not be a fit for you, but hundreds of thousands of men who can be a potential good partner to you. So if that's the case, and this guy happens not to see your greatness, partly because you may not be showing up your greatness, or maybe because he's looking for something different, whatever the reason is, step into abundance. Know that there's more guys like him who have whatever qualities you're coming up with him, but also have one fundamental value and quality and skill that is so necessary, which is falling for you, looking up to you, 
feeling desired towards you, that matters. That's a quality you want in a guy without which this is not going to work. Something else that helps you step into abundance is understand that you need to raise up your vibration to have more options, to have more abundance, and raise your standards as well. Raise your standards in terms of what you expect of a man, how you want him to show up, but you have to do both simultaneously. You can't say, I'm going to have high standards for a guy, but I'm going to show up mediocrely, without excitement, without passion, without sensuality, without expressiveness, and then hope that he just creates this x-ray vision and sees inside your soul that you're with chains and <laughs> walls guarding him against and hope that he discovers you. You need to discover yourself and express yourself and then he can see you. You can have so much more abundance if you play it this way. Number six is attract more options. Next step that will help you move on from this dude who's not seeing you is create more options, connect with more men, have more conversations, go on more dates, do it the right way. And this guy who was the best thing could have ever happened to you, you'll start seeing him for what it is. One opportunity that didn't happen, but there's many more opportunities and some of them will be even better than this dude. Last one is the side that this whole thing is a mutual choice. It's not just about the guy choosing you. You have to choose him back. Even if the great guy is great, even if he has the values that you're looking for, you still need to connect with him and figure out if the, regardless of how much greatness he brings, you want him in your life. When you recognize that it's a mutual choice, when you recognize that it's not just the great guy choosing you, but you also have to choose him back, that you do have a choice, then you're no longer limited to that one man who's not seeing your greatness and then you can really step into the principle of door B that I outlined at the beginning which is move on. Move on with grace, move on with encouragement, move on with aliveness, move on with more options and move on with more love for yourself and for the amazing guy who will be able to create what needs to happen to earn your heart. Hope this is helpful, useful and insightful to you in some way. If it is, I'm gonna ask you to do three things. Number one, click like or thumbs up on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel and if you click the little bell when you hit subscribe then you'll be notified of new episodes as they come out. Number three and most important of all, two different parts. Part one, if you want to learn how to step into the most awesome relationship of your life, I've created a master class that's free. All you have to do is click the first link under the description of this video, enter your name and email and you'll be immediately redirected to this free 40-minute master class that guides you through this process. Second part of this ask is if you recognize that despite the fact that you've been watching videos, reading books, talking to your girlfriends, this hasn't happened, don't do more of the same. Ask for help. If you want to find out if you and I might be a work, a fit to work together where I can handhold you through the process of finding your soulmate, help you with accountability, create a custom plan for you and, and see it through until you get it, then the second link under the description of this video will allow you to apply to work with me. If I feel I can help you, my assistant will reach out and set up time to connect. If we can't help you, then you'll get a message saying why. Thank you so much for connecting with me. And as always, 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 I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.